Do you need a kid's errand? You want to come hang out with me? You come hang out with me today? No? Might be worth it. You know? Any other kids? Any other takers want to come up front? Ah, come on. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. You guys want to sit here, or you can sit there. You can sit here. If you want, you want to sit here. You want to sit here. You hang out with me. You can stand there with me. You want you want to do the lesson. I get you. All right, all right, guys. Just hang out. So, did you guys have a good Christmas? Yeah. Yeah. Finally. Is that what you said? <laughs> no. What'd you say? Santa came early? Oh, you're lucky because your daddy had to work on Sunday, huh? Yeah. He came early in my kid's house too for some reason. All right. So what, what, is, what did you get for Christmas? What did you get? A Star Wars Lego set. A Star Wars Lego set. You guys all see? I don't know if you can see from the plants anyway. So. Star Wars Lego set? What kind of Star Wars Lego set? It's a General Grievous spaceship. General Grievous' spaceship? Yeah. You haven't built it yet, have you? No, I'll come over to your house this afternoon. It's yeah? You inviting me over? We hang out? I'll bring the pizza. 14, oh, only, I'm a little over 14. I suppose I can't do it. <laughs> what else? What did you guys get? Um, I got a uh, big blue bike. You got a big blue bike? Mongoose. A big blue mongoose bike? Cool. Cool, those are good at fighting snakes, mongooses. <laughs> All right, Rim, uh, Aaron, what would you get? You got books. Oh, that's a good present. That sounds like my kind of present. Remington, what'd you get? MP3 player. What'd you get, Seth? Halo Mega Blocks Rocket Warthog. Have you put it together yet? Okay, should I come over? Should I come over later? I have a lot of fun with that stuff. So. <clears throat> yeah. All right. So, what is Christmas about? Presents, right? No. Oh. Well, okay, what's, what's it about, Aaron? Jesus' birthday. Jesus' birthday. All right. What else, Seth? Giving. Giving. Anybody else want to add anything? Cool. Later on, we're going to hear the story of Jesus' birthday from the point of view of the innkeeper. Do you guys know who the innkeeper is? Yeah. 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 Have you ever heard the story from the, from the eyes of the innkeeper? be interesting to see what he thinks about Jesus and Jesus' birthday, huh? What else do we see around Christmas time? What are some of the symbols that we see? What, Aaron? Santa. Santa. Yeah. What else? Yeah. Christmas trees. What else? A cross. Yeah. Yeah. Presents. What else? Jesus. Jesus. Do you guys know what I have in my pocket? What, what you got? Sales. Is that what you said? Nice. <laughs> Black Friday. Yes, absolutely. It's entered our culture completely now. The kids even notice that. What is this? Candy canes. How many of you got candy canes for Christmas? All right. How many of you like candy canes? You know what the candy cane stands for? The shepherd's staff. It does look like a shepherd's staff, doesn't it? Look at that. What else, Remington? Did you know something else? Jesus. It stands for Jesus. How does it stand for Jesus? You just think it does? No, it it's a good call. Oh, if we turn it that way. Is that backwards to you all? There we go. That looks backwards to me. So, No? <laughs> Dyslexia. It's a killer. It's that mongoose thing. I own one of those. <laughs> J. Okay, so it looks like a J for Jesus. What else do we know about candy canes? Does anybody else know? It's minty. It is minty. <laughs> Therefore, Jesus must be minty, right? <laughs> yes, Aaron? We can eat it. We can eat it. I don't think it's we should. <laughs> it's edible. <laughs> it's edible. Okay. What other things in correlation with Christmas and Jesus do we know about candy canes? Do you guys know anything else? Do you know anything? What, what do you know about the candy cane? Hold on, guys. Go ahead. The red? Ah, Jesus' birth. The red means Jesus' blood. 
Oh, that's interesting. What else? Good. The white, the white is the spiritual cleansing. The spiritual cleansing. The white represents the fact that Jesus was pure and holy. Yeah. What does pure mean? It means he was clean, it's white. It's, awesome. it's awesome. It's awesome. It's yummy. And it's yummy. Okay. What? Edible. It's edible. We said edible. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? I could I couldn't hear you. The the what means you're, green? I don't have any green in my candy cane, but that's a good point. Green means you're alive. If there was green, yes. It's yummy. Yeah, we're getting a lot of yummies. Okay. So did you know that the guy, supposedly, the guy that, that invented the candy cane wanted a, a, a piece of candy that kids could eat at Christmas that would remind them of Jesus. So he invented the candy cane because, one, it looks like the shepherd's crook. And we know Jesus is the good shepherd, right? And he's always there to protect us. Two, it makes the J, okay? So for, it step, stands for Jesus. Three, he started with a white candy that represented it was pure and holy, just like Jesus was. And then the fourth thing was he put the red stripe in it to represent the blood that Christ shed for us to save us. So, I want you guys to remember that every time you see a candy cane, you think of what? Jesus. Jesus. So, you, you want to eat this? This one's broken, but you can eat it. In fact, I'm going to help you guys. I brought candy canes for everybody. Now, you have to promise me that you can eat these during any part of the service except for my sermon. Okay. Do you want a candy cane? Not during my singing, they can't. They can do that. That's fine. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Did you show up for the candy? Yeah. There you go. Here, I'll tell you what, guys. You guys can go sit down at your seats with your parents if you want, or you can sit up front with me. And we're going to have a story in a little bit about the birth of Jesus from the point of view of the innkeeper, okay? And you guys, you want to help me up there? And you guys can help me share this story with everybody you come in contact with by telling them what the candy cane represents, okay? Bear, do you want one? Do you want one, Bear? You sure? Oh, that was broken. Anybody allergic? <laughs> Anybody allergic to sugar? My wife would say I am. So. All right, guys. Go have a seat. You can either sit up here in the... Not yet? Not yet. Oh, they're singing. I forgot about that. That's why Martha's up here. I wondered why she was here. All right. <laughs> Go for it, Martha. Class here is going to lead us in the first verse of Away in the Manger, and then we'll continue as a congregation with the rest of it. No, they're going to they're gonna lead the first verse, and then we'll, then we'll jump in. Oh, 